oh my god you want to get to know me more like ah so my first crochet project ever was a foam pouch it was ugly and bad hey new people if this is your first time watching me <laughs> hobbies because i have a lot but out i keep I was like, baby i don't know about that one <laughs> i don't know about that one I It's Yard of Sapphire, and I'm gonna be starting something a little new on my channel. I'm gonna start a podcast. You know what? I like the yap, and I feel like this would be good. So, yeah, I'm gonna, cause I was, okay, I was talking to Bess last night, cause I had this on my mind, and I talked it over with her, and you're like, you know what? You should do one. So, I was like, okay, I'm doing one. So, which I actually came up with the name last night. <laughs> It's a good name. You ready for the name? What I'm going to be naming this little podcast? Yapping with Sapphire. Do we like it? You like it? We like it? You like probably like why? One, I'm a yapper and I like the word yapping. Also, Sapphire as in Yarzik Sapphire. So, Sapphire. So, so that's how you got Yapping with Sapphire. So welcome to um, episode one of this little series that I'm going to be starting on my channel, which I'm actually very excited for. So, yeah. Um, so I will be either knitting, crocheting, or any other type of crafts I end up be doing at the time I start filming these podcasts. So you, so from starting now on, you're either going to get at least one or two videos a week from me. Uh, mainly to like, because... <laughs> I like to work on big projects, okay? Let me grab my project, actually. My project I'm working on is Halloween costume for me, Bestie. Um, so that's what we're working on today. But, out, I keep almost accidentally poking myself. I literally just poked myself on the forehead. Luckily, it was in my eye. <laughs> but, I forgot what I was saying. I literally forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I literally forgot what I was saying. Oh, what, what was I talking about? Yeah, I don't remember. But yeah, I'm gonna be. Oh yeah, posting. I'm either okay. So you either gonna get one video or two videos for me from now for each week. And the reason is because some there's some weeks where I work on a project that takes me so long to do, and I feel bad when I'm I don't have a video ready for y'all. So I was like, let, let me like do a podcast. So then if I don't have like a actual like a video video like a little phone little vloggy or something waiting for y'all then at least i have a podcast to post for y'all so tell me how you feel let me know but yeah so that's what i that's the reason why i was like you know i think let me do this because i feel like also it's good really good for me <laughs> to eat a droop so also i want to do something new on here like i need something new you know what you know what also, y'all get to, like, know more about me if you want to know more about me. Um, I guess I'm interesting. I don't know. Y'all watch me. Tell me. Am I interesting to y'all? I don't know. I mean, of course, in my head, I'm, like, the most interesting person on planet Earth. Like, that's in my head. And, like, maybe a little bit of an ego for saying that. Little. Little, little, little. But, like, don't we all technically kind of have to have an like, ego, though, in this world? But, like, not a big ego. Like, it's a balance. But like tiny ego, tiny little ego. You need a little tiny ego. Especially if you like make videos or like post your stuff. You kind of need to have an ego because you have to kind of like be like, yeah, I did this, all that stuff. Like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but as you can tell, I'm also wearing my pig onesie. Ah! If you have not been here, and this is your new, I mean, this little baby bad boy back. I don't know now. Was it? Did I make this back in May? I don't remember. It hasn't been a year though, and it's finally cold enough outside so I can wear this. Which I'm not gonna lie, I am burning up right now a little bit. It's a little hot in my house right now. Uh, which I turn on the um, I turn it on so it can be cold, and it still haven't um gotten cold yet. Um, so I'm a little burning up right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little burning up right now. But it's super comfy. It's super comfy. And I love it. This is like my favorite like 
thing I I, I pretty much made myself so far. Well, I love all horse stuff I made myself. I can't. I mean, like, I love everything I make. Like, I'm just proud of everything I make, especially when something's like so like out there, like this onesie. Cause I remember someone commented like, "Oh my, you like just made a pig onesie," and I was like, "Yeah, I just did that." Like, cause in my head, you can like make anything you want. Like, there's no limit. There's no rules. So like, I can make whatever I want. And I wanted a pig onesie. Guess what I did? Made a pig onesie. Like, I said pig onesie. Thing about this though, about me yapping. When I yap, I actually don't be getting things done. So I don't know how much. <laughs> crocheting or knitting i'm actually gonna be doing in these episodes because i kind of suck at like talking and actually being productive not gonna lie so this is gonna be fun i'm literally probably gonna get that much stuff done literally when i'm yapping to y'all <laughs> um yeah but i'm so excited to hurry up and get this stuff done mainly because it's taking me so long to work on my halloween project because i'm making me my bestie halloween costume which you will know eventually, soon enough, what we are for Halloween. You probably cannot tell from this. I don't know. You probably cannot tell. But yeah. Uh. I'm trying, so I guess I'm gonna sit here and for, I think the first episode, it'd be good to like, do a little get to know me you can get, like know me more or something i was thinking about doing q a but i don't have enough people who watch me to like ask me questions to do that so <laughs> it's like we like what are two people like which totally found me i'm just happy at least one people be like ask me a question i'm like oh my god you want to get to know me more like ah because i'm still shocked that people actually watch my videos and actually want to watch my videos or like hear me talk and like watch see what I do like I'm still shocked about that like in my head I'm like me like really and I know it's crazy because I literally like post but I mainly start posting to try to be more productive with my life and everything and also to motivate me to like create more things and everything like this I started this for me like I didn't like yeah I was like okay yeah I'll be cool to like have people to like be there and watch me but like I was mainly doing it for myself and was trying to be more productive with my life so and I, it is shocked that now I have people who like watch me and like continue watching me and I'm like you like my energy because I know I can be a little too much I feel like I, well that's what everybody says I don't know that's just how I am like I don't know it's just I don't know but thing is all my life I always have people telling me that like, they love my vibes and I'm just like oh okay like I don't want to say that I remember I had one time a uncle uh he was a little intoxicated at the time and he was just he was randomly on and on well he's not my uncle he's my cousin but he gives all uncle vibes but my cousin and he was just randomly on and on talking about me. And I was like, I'm such a, I'm an introvert at heart. And I was like, oh my God, stop talking about me. Like, stop, stop, stop. But he just kept on saying, oh my God, your energy. You're just like that. Like, I just love your vibe and everything. And I was like, okay. Okay. You have to keep talking about it. He just kept on talking about me. And I was like, okay. Okay, I get it. So I kind of been like told for so long that like your energy is just like so different. And everything and just the way you like are that people the reason why people gravitate towards you and i'm like okay because me being an introvert sometimes i'm like okay i don't want no one to come up to me but the thing is people come up to me because they see me and they're like oh my god your energy which i'm not hating for that it's just something you know i am some you know, introverts are sometimes you're like okay i don't have the energy right now to actually socialize <laughs> but apparently people give off the, apparently like give off the vibe that i'm so welcoming welcoming which is confusing to me because I thought I'd give off the opposite vibe, but apparently I don't. Which is a win-win situation, win-lose situation actually. So like, but thing is, I can be very talkative, especially if you can be started talking about something. Like if you like, if I see you and you like start talking, you bring up anything about crochet, knitting, or like pigs, I'm gonna start yapping like crazy. I'm gonna be, you're gonna be like, cause you gonna first see me and I'm like quiet and mute. 
but then when you get me but when you say a word keyword for me i'm gonna be like oh my goodness i can talk with you because interest 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 like ah uh, yeah because i can talk about my stuff all day and every day because i can so i don't <laughs> um i'm 21 i literally just turned 21 if you haven't seen because i i made my birthday outfit is a knitting um a little romper you should check out that video um i guess i say that i'm 21 oh my name is tiana I, but you can call me luan yarzik sapphire or tiana but i kind of prefer Yar yarzik sapphire because in my head i want to separate my like crochet my like this channel from like who i am as a person even though they're connected but like at the same time they're like different in my head so like yards like sapphire um which my mom actually helped me came out with my came out with my name because let's hear some lore i'm gonna draw some lore for y'all um <laughs> the reason why I, okay so i i knew i wanted to use the word sapphire and the reason why is because i'm a virgo i was more september you know, their birth, our birthstone is Sapphire. So I was like, I wanted to bring my identity to my like brand name. So I was like, okay, I want to use the word Sapphire. And, I, and it took me forever. I couldn't figure out what to put in front of it. And I talked to my mom about it. And then she, one day she sent Yarzik Sapphire. And you might be like, how she got Yarzik? So Yarzik is actually the word crazy backwards. And the reason why she did it backwards because my um my instagram my personal instagram account and everything um my name is crazy something something i might go tell y'all yet about my personal account yet if you find it then you welcome but right now i'm keeping it a little private my personal account but it has the word crazy in it and i have been using that name since i was like 11 i think i came up with it because you know like you know during when we were younger we like we didn't use our government names on our social media we came out with we came up with like a username or something fun and i came up with mine and i used the word crazy in it and ever since i have i still kept that same um username for my um personal account and my mom was like she flipped it and got yarzik sapphire so that's how we came up with that Yarzik Sapphire. So Yarzik is literally the word crazy backwards, and then Sapphire for so Which are two like things that, like about me. Uh, which you might be like, why crazy? It's because I always was and am the quirky like weirdo kid. I would say like I didn't like I was like an outcast, but like own up to it. Like because I know a lot of time I know I remember one time I say the word crazy. A lot of people think like oh my god like that's such a bad word, but like is it really like like how like what's that man name from alex warren like how he said we all crazy we're all a bit crazy which true i no one is normal like no one there's no such thing as normal there is no such thing as normal every time someone says i want to be normal or something like no one's normal there's no real thing as normal okay normal is this high social construct like construct that we try to be that does not exist but we try so hard to be that. And I gave up on that. I didn't want I didn't have an injury for that. I was I'm just gonna be my normal I'm just gonna be my like normal I use this to work normal. I'm just gonna be my like normal, quirky, weirdo self and like embrace my weirdness. Cause like why would I spend the rest of my life trying to be something that does not exist when I could just be authentically my I can just be myself and live a much happier life while doing so. That is how I get my name. That's that's the origin of Yarzik Sapphire. Which of course I don't hold much of research about the whole meaning of Yarzik and Sapphire and everything and like what's the mean and all that stuff, which I love it. It naturally naturally I came up with a brand name that actually does have a value in its like name. So which if you want to know what it is, you can get into your research. <laughs> Cause I kind of forgot I go lie. Well I remember Sapphire, because Sapphire is like Something about yards. Like, I can't remember the name. The reason why I know because my grandma was like, "Well, you need to like words have meanings and all that stuff. So you need to look up like the research and the meaning." Which I did 
do it. I just don't remember right now on top of my head of the meaning behind it, which is kind of sad to say. But like also I create my own meaning and word. So what else for y'all? What else y'all be knowing about me? What else? I have been crocheting. I literally, I, I'm not even gonna sit here and tell you, like, I seriously don't know exactly when I started. I was either around like 11 or 12 when I started. I literally don't remember. But I was either 11 or 12. I'm 21. So, like, what, how many years is that? Eight, nine, ten. About 10 or 9 years. I don't know, actually. I feel like it's more, but I can't even tell you. I don't remember what I actually, I don't remember the actual age I actually started crocheting. Cause I I'm self taught. Um, the reason how I got oh I should tell you how I started crocheting. That's what that's a little good story right there. I started learning crocheting because my we were visiting my dad in Indiana, and his wife his um wife at the time they're not together no more. Um, <laughs> but his wife at the time she had like yarn and some hooks and i was like what is this and she like told me what it was and then she's like oh it's crochet and all that stuff and then so at the time literally on me was like because we were spending the summer there me and my siblings and then she had kids too and so then i was like oh okay i decided to do some research and look up some youtube videos and everything and i taught myself to crochet which my first crochet project ever was a foam pouch it was ugly and bad it was pink it was bad it was it was really bad I, like i don't have it no more i i think i took it apart actually i don't remember but then i also because i also during that time i learned i was doing the rainbow loon if you remember the little like um rubber bands the making things because i added a i made a rainbow i made a a bow to add on top of it and I like use it to like wrap the thing around to put my phone in and so yeah that's how I got into crochet was that so literal me I think I was 11 I think I was around that age you know what it was because now that I think about it that trip happened the year before I entered my sixth grade year. I, uh, how old was I in my sixth grade? How old was I? Whatever age that is. Well, I'm a year older. So when you're sixth grade, actually, I think you're, I think I was 11. I was 11 or 12. I should sit down and do the math actually but yeah i've been doing crochet for that many years i know more i know at least 10 i think right 10, at least 10 10 10 years right now but like i didn't do like crochet like constantly growing up i was do i did it like off and on when i was younger i didn't do it as much mainly because i learned i first learned how to was this did i first learn how to do the rainbow one or did i first learn how to sew I don't remember actually. I can't. Re I think I first. No, you know what? I first learned how to do the rainbow loom. Then I learned how to sew. Then I learned how to crochet. That's the order of my like skills. I have all. I have always been like a crafty person. And then I've been knitting for five months now. I think. I think it's the five months mark now. I've been constantly knitting. Um. So yeah. Those are my little years. And then sewing, yeah, sewing. How many years is sewing? So I mean, I think sewing is about the same around the same time of crocheting. I think so. Which my first sewing project was a book bag, which I still have my book bag. I would show you, but it's somewhere hidden in my closet, and I don't feel like taking it out. But I, my first sewing project was a book bag. Because I have a family member, he taught me how to sew. Because he, he sews too. 
and everything. And he taught me how to sew and everything. And that was fun. And all that stuff. So. Yeah. And then my knitting. Because I wanted to learn how to knit like years ago. One year my, my mom got me a knitting set for Christmas. And I tried to teach myself. I couldn't pick it up. I could not pick the knitting up on my own. I could not. So I like just stopped. And like I didn't touch it for a good bit. Until like what was it about two or a year by now. I like joined this type of knitting, not knitting, uh, this little club and they had someone to teach us how to knit and I picked it up. <laughs> I actually, I learned how to knit and then I put on hold and then five months ago I was like, you know what, let me knit. And then now I've been knitting like crazy. I knit, now I think I knit pro at least one or two projects a month or more I think. I've been like, <laughs> I go back and forth now with crocheting and knitting which is really good because I, I can take a break from crocheting to knit and I can take a break from knitting to crochet it's a healthy balance and then I guess if I get tired of both I have other stuff I like to do too like knitting needle punch, punch needle which I don't know which one I keep forgetting which one's correct I keep saying a needle punch or punch I like to say needle punch but I'm pretty sure it's punch needle but I don't know why my brain always want to say needle punch but it's punch needle which I actually kind of want to do that I've been craving to do that also, there's something new I want to learn too, which I'm gonna do a whole video about, which I'm not gonna spill what it is quite yet. What it is, this is my plan of list of things I need to plan to do. Cause as we know, right now as I'm filming this is October, and October is actually come up, is almost up, and I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done before the new year. That's what I'm trying to do. My goal is try to do try to get a whole bunch of stuff done. So like. I'm trying real hard to like finish all the things because I have I have a long list of things on my like to-do list like I have so many like I do that's like one thing that when you're an artist it's, like you have so many ideas and you just have a so long of a list and you're just like do you have enough time to do before you like die but of course I will yeah or what about like what about be that person that just pass on like my teachings and like learning to someone and normally people would be like their kids but like i don't know if i'm having kids so i'm not about to say that i'm not about to say i'm gonna pass on all this stuff to my kids because i don't know about that answer question yeah so as of right now that's a no-no for me so like i don't know but i'm passing down to no kids also, ask me down below what else questions y'all want to know about me. Because I'm, I'm running out of stuff that, like, y'all will want to know about me. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, what do you want to know about me? Like, I'm up in book to a point. To a point. But most of the time, I'm up in book. So... Also, I'm almost there to 1K subscribers on here, which is so crazy. It is so crazy to think that I'm almost there. Because I'm at, right as of right now, as this, as this is being filmed, I'm at 814 subscribers, which is insane. And I've been trying to think, what can I do for 1K subscribers, which I don't know. Because I did a video for 500 subscribers, which I crochet 500 stars plus more because I needed more for the outfit. And I made an outfit with the stars. And that's my, so that's my little um, 500 subscriber outfit. Um, which I haven't worn out nowhere yet. I need to wear it out somewhere. I can't now because like, it's gonna be winter and it's holy. So if I wear it, I'm gonna layer it, but not right now. But I, that's what I did for 500 subscribers. Which somebody, somebody commented on a video. Oh my god, like 1K stars for the 1K subscribers. And I was like, baby, I don't know about that one. I, I, I don't know about that one. I don't know about me. Make, which apartment is like, should I make 1K or something? But I don't know about that one. I don't know. Like, oof. Because that 500, then I had to make more. That took me, what, a week, I think? Or what? I don't remember actually. I think it took me like a week or less to make all of that stars. Plus 
the thing is i think i, I don't really know exactly because after i counted 500 i gave up and i didn't do no more count i said i reached my goal of 500 and i made it more i think i made probably like either to 75 or 100 more stars after the 500 or something i think around or less i don't know but i think i made a lot more actually because i did not have a, i did not have enough stars 500 was not enough stars for my little outfit so i had to make way more uh but i'm so obsessed with the outfit but i'm trying to figure out which i did for 1k i don't know which i have one thing in mind which i don't want to spill it yet but i don't know but like help me out like what do you want like i don't know what's some type of like crazy video i should do for 1k i don't know because i've been trying to figure out what can i do for 1k like i need to do something that can kind of like can top the one the 500 video which i really don't teach i really don't want to make 1000 or something i don't know if i can do that i don't know if i can do that <laughs> i don't know i'm gonna have to like plan that video like months ahead not even months ahead but like at least a month or like i don't know it's probably gonna be late by the time the 1k or something i don't know but who knows <laughs> but but i'm hoping to reach the 1k subscribers before this year is up like that would be a like the best thing before this year we're up to reach 1k subscribers and everything on youtube but it's fine if i don't but like it's a little minor goal that i like would like like reach it because i think i started this year off with around like 100 maybe i think i think i actually don't remember i think i took a screenshot of it because I reached 500, what, around May? I reached 500 around May. So I don't remember what I started this year off with. But I know it was probably going around 100, I think. So I did I did a pretty good job this year, okay? I got a pretty good thing. God got a lot of things done this year. I'm proud of myself. Um, I started working on my TikTok account. Which, if you don't know, I have a TikTok account, which will be linked down below. You know, Yard Six Sapphire. Also, my Instagram. Check out my Instagram. But, like, if you miss me on YouTube, go check out my um, TikTok. Because I'd be posting on there. Um, which I just started posting three times a day now. I've been posting two times. So, try to myself to post something on there. Now, I have upgraded to three times. Which, you might be like, is that a little too much? I don't know. I'm just trying to, like, you know... Just get myself out there. Um, but right now, I have, I have the energy and the time to do three times, I think. So, we yeah. are doing things. But, yeah, go check out my TikTok. A little baiting, because, okay, I recently, like, remade my intro for my YouTube channel. And I'm debating, should I do a new intro I, not a new intro, but create a new intro for my podcast. Should I do like something new or should I keep the same? I don't know. Cause I don't know. I feel like I should like do something. I feel like I need to do something different for the intro for this channel or something. Not this channel. This like up these like you know you know what I mean. Not no. I meant what I for this series. That's where we go. This little series. Um, I feel like I should do, like, a new intro, like, a different type, of, like, a little, I don't know. I think I might do something, though. I think I might create something, a, a little thing. Um, if I do do it for this video, then, if you see it in the beginning of this video, then I did it. If I, if you don't see it and you still see my old, my, not my old, but my intro for my other videos, then I haven't design it yet but it will eventually be done <laughs> eventually so we will see but i think i do want to do something i do an intro for just for my podcast videos so you can tell the difference oh i thought i messed up for a second that's another thing why i can't yeah wait actually i did messed up guys 
I knitted this in here. This is my, cause I don't, I have the little handy like counter thing. I literally knit the thing in here. I need to cut it. I literally knit it in here. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. But yeah, I think I'm gonna design something. But yeah, so my podcast is gonna be called Yapping with Yarns. Yapping with Yar. <laughs> my podcast is gonna be called Yapping with Sapphire. And that's gonna be like cute. I feel like, because like I know like a lot of like channels or people will like have like a name for like their fan base or whatever. And like, what would I even call y'all? Like I was thinking probably little sapphires or like something like, you know, like sapphire or I'll call y'all little sapphires or something like that. I don't know. I think that's it for my first, for the first episode of Yapping with Sapphire. I am, I'm literally running out of things to say and to talk about, which I'm gonna in the future for future references to like, jot down some notes and stuff I can talk about. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> like I can just yeah, like I need I'm gonna write some pointers down like some like what to talk about. Like I don't know what to yap about. But like I think I think this was a good start to this series. Um I just I like y'all like got to know some more stuff about me, my background of my all my like hobbies because I have a lot and I'm continue and I'm like constantly adding new skills and hobbies to my long list of them already because before I pass away on this earth I want to learn as many hobbies and skills I possibly can so that's literally my goal is to like learn as many as I can so so I hope y'all enjoy this first episode of my podcast and consider subscribing to my channel if you're new, if you have never seen one before. Hello. I don't know why I'm doing this literally at the end. I'm like, now I'm like, hey, new people, if this is your first time watching me. I probably should start like in the beginning saying like hey new people or something like that but I don't that's just me I'm like just come on just just come on just come on just, just welcome welcome just come on <laughs> but yeah um please consider subscribing if you want to see more from me um or you want to see more of the pig onesie I was thinking should I like every time I do my podcast should I wear my pig onesie? But like, I might actually, that might be too much. I don't know. But like, if y'all tell me that I need to wear my pig onesie every time I talk to y'all, then I will. Sometimes, it depends. Cause if I'm hot, if it's hot, then I'm not wearing it. I'm sorry, I'm not putting this thing on if it's too hot for me to be putting this on. But I will do it if y'all say to wear it. But like, there's gonna be some time where I'm not. I'm just doing it now because like I thought it would be cute to sit here and yap while wearing my pig onesie. So um but yeah. It was nice talking to y'all. I needed this. I needed this. I needed this. So um I'll see y'all next. I'll see y'all in next episode. So bye i hope y'all like learn a lot about me i don't know let me know down below literally ask me anything down below anything this is a free what is this a free what what's the word i'm thinking of i can't even think of the word i'm thinking of i don't know ask me anything you want down below let's just something me do not do that which no one has actually wrote anything mean, actually. Everybody have been sweet. Y'all y'all been sweet. Everybody who's been commenting on my videos, y'all have been very sweet to me. And I'm very grateful and thankful for that. 
y'all have been very sweet and kind and i'm very thankful for that and i like appreciate it very much because every time someone write a comment on my videos i get so happy and giggly and i'm like oh my god especially when i recognize the same people commenting on my videos i get so happy and excited to see y'all because i'm like oh my goodness i know you because like i have memorized the people with usernames who are constantly like commenting or like whatever and i'm like oh my goodness hi like it's like i know you like like we know each other by now you know what i mean like i know who you are i see you i see you i see you and i reply to every comment either a heart or i like reply but i try to reply to everybody I try to reply i reply to everybody so yeah let me stop yapping <laughs> let me stop yapping because i'm burning alive in this onesie right now actually i'm like i'm burning alive actually so <laughs> this is for y'all but i will see y'all next time bye let me know how i did was this great i don't know <laughs> let me know <laughs> not me saying goodbye to to y'all twice because i got sidetracked and started yapping again bye peace out peace out yarzik sapphire out